So let's explore uh, the Twitter communities, which is a new feature. And I just tried it out. It, it looks super fun and interesting. So as you can see in the bottom, I have six tabs. So by default, you usually have five tabs like home, search, spaces, notifications and messages. But now I also have the sixth tab, which is communities. So how to get access to Twitter communities? Basically what I did, I just followed, I just joined one community. Uh, I just found someone on Twitter uh, sharing the link to, to their Twitter community. You can also just search on their profile and then you will be able to, uh, to join that. And the moment you join, you will have this tab open. This is how it looks like. So you have a separate feed for the communities. If you join a community, all the it's not like a Twitter list. So if you, the community has 800 people, it doesn't mean that you follow all the people in that community. So for example, I joined community about Web3. I can see that there are 260 members, but I don't follow any of them. I just joined the community. By the way, I can also invite members to the community. There is a limitation of five invites. So to invite other people, I can just search them by username and invite someone. Uh, you need to be able to send DM to that profile to invite that person to community. When you have a community tab, you can just tap search for a community and you will be in discover tab where you can discover communities. You can search for anything around your topic. So something like that. And then you can just see the community and to join the community, just, just tap join. You can see more about the rules and all of that. So for example, here is the interesting community. I just joined it to basically to leave the to leave the community. And then uh, you can just tap leave this community. Uh, then there are members. I can just tap here. I can see all members. I can follow them or and, and then there are moderators. Uh, so here you can see moderators of the community. You can see all the people. You can follow some of them. You can search for the people and actually it can be a really nice marketing uh, trick to do. So you can do marketing, you know, in Facebook groups, in LinkedIn groups. Now there are also Twitter communities. But of course, yeah, it's super healthy not to spam and just try to, to maintain Twitter communities as high quality and this will also benefit everyone. Uh, so here you have home, you have community info. Um, so basically here you can see all the rules. Um, you can see uh, all the ideas for the shows, reactions. You can see the rules, you can see moderators and that's it. If you want to post to community, this is what you can do. You can post text content, you can post audio message or picture. You can choose audience and basically you can select from the communities you are part of to where you want to post. And that's basically it. Um, and yeah, if you post to community, if you post to, to community, uh, this post won't be displayed on your main feed. It will only be displayed on community. Of course, dependent again, if you select this set in here not to post to everyone but just post to community and again if you follow join the community it doesn't mean that you follow 800 members and this post from community won't appear in your home feed yeah this would be a bit of crazy like you know to follow community join the community with 3000 people and then you follow all these people it's yeah would be annoying but no this is not how it works Basically, you just have community tab and then you see all the tabs, all the content here from that. I don't know if it's possible to mute the community or to block or, you know, like something like that. But yeah, this is, uh, that's that. 
uh, so for example here we can go to this podcast um, I can read about about uh, so that's that here are the communities and actually you can create your own community um, so I already did that so to create your own community when you join here you can you can tap in top right you will see like a person icon to create your own community uh, I think I don't see it now because I already created one so I think there is a limit of communities which you can create um, so let's just see so okay so here's my community I just created uh, you will just see here so here are the members uh, I want to invite uh, some other people here so I just invited my other account here and then uh, uh, that's what you can do and then you can set up someone as moderator you see settings you see your community name I just created it you can set that your community purpose color theme membership type so if you create your own community you can control who can join your community keep in mind all communities are visible to everyone on Twitter you can create open community anyone can join or be invited or restricted people must ask to join and the mod team must approve those requests people invited by the mod team are automatically approved so you can do that um, so yeah this is an overview in case you want to create your own you don't need to pay anything again you don't need to be on twitter blue plan or like some upgrade upgraded subscription so that's basically how it works then there is when you created your community, there is a community checklist. You can review your rules, you can personalize, your, you can invite members, you can tweet about your community. And then here is about section. Uh, and then, yeah, it can be super helpful. And this feature of Twitter is really growing quite fast. A lot of people are joining. And I was like actually looking for feature like that because I want, for example, to follow some people interested in Web3, like I can do it manually, just searching on Twitter. I can search for some Twitter lists, but then again, I'm following all the t uh, people about it and the, their messages are messed up with other messages on my home feed. Then I can follow topics, but then again, these topics are messed up with other topics. And here, if you're in community, you can just go, for example, Web3 community, and then you will see only content related to that. And then you can see all the audio messages, all the spices, just everything related to that one uh, area. Overall, this is how it works. Um, hope this is helpful. Um, so definitely give it a try, definitely check it out. I will explore more, probably will do another overview after some period when I use this feature, if it is helpful or not. But I think it has a great potential and let's see how it evolves.